بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى orders us to submit in Islam submit fully and totally to his will subhanahu wa ta'ala submitting and adhering to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam submitting with Tawheed by worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone by knowing what Tawheed is and practicing it properly that's what we're ordered to do Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us for ibadah to worship him قال سبحانه وتعالى في كتاب في كتابه الكريم واعبدوا الله ولا تشركوا به شيئا الله سبحانه وتعالى says and worship Allah alone he orders us ولا تشركوا به شيئا and do not uh, associate partners with Allah سبحانه وتعالى nor worship anyone or anything besides Allah no grave worship no your don't go to the awliya don't go to anyone and show that kind of reverence and love for them that enters into ibadah, to be considered ibadah. Humbling and crying before, before them and, and, and their pictures, making tawaf or cir- circumul- cir- circumulating around their graves or sacrificing for their graves or any of those acts which are innovations in the religion of Islam and have no place and denote shirk. Those are acts of worshipping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which we've pro- been prohibited from and Allah doesn't forgive shirk qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitabihi al-kareem inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushrik bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalika liman yasha Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says verily Allah does not forgive that you commit associate partners with him you commit shirk but he forgives other than that for whomsoever he pleases meaning that the person who dies upon shirk upon worshiping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this individual if they worship other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they die upon that major shirk then they'll reside in the hellfire forever. So the believer is ordered, Ahli Iman, is, uh, is ordered to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and stay away from shirk in all of its various forms and manifestations. And avoid the people of shirk. If someone is calling you to the hellfire, why would you indulge in being with them? Unless you have influence over them, they respect you and they respect your, your deen and you can call them back to the Qur'an, call them back to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah and if they never had Qur'an and Sunnah, they're from Ahl al-Shirk, then call them to Tawheed, call them to the worship of Allah. Show them the example of Islam, the beauty of Islam, that Islam is beautiful and Islam calls to beautiful, to, 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 to beautiful things. This is what Islam is. That is a ni'mah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the, the ni'mah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the tayyibat. Inna Allah tayyib. La yuhibbu illa tayyib. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, 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 is all goodness. He's the, 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 he's a tayyib. And he only accepts tayyib. He only accepts tayyib. He only accepts that which is good, that which is khair, that which is ihsan. So that's what we want as believers. We want to have ihsan. And we want to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a manner that he is pleased with. And we ask Allah the Almighty to protect us from kulli su wa makru. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.